Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Are you a huge Walking Dead fan? You are in the right place because today we are going to be walking you through a lot of the filming sites for The Walking Dead. The original Walking Dead, not necessarily all of the spinoffs that are happening right now. So we are huge Walking Dead fans and we have done a couple of trips, probably about three now, that have revolved around Walking Dead filming sites. We're gonna take you to Atlanta to some of the filming sites there where it was filmed as well as some of the areas south of Atlanta like Sonoy. This is a prime filming spot in a whole Walking Dead town now that has grown and revolved around just the tourism for The Walking Dead. And we're also going to take you to um, a little town south called Harrelson, Georgia. It's mostly at a little mill where some of the filming took place, especially in season three. So anyway, if that interests you, come on along with us and we're going to get started. Hi, I'm Cher and I love sharing travel with you. If you love travel like I do, then make sure you pop that subscribe button, stick around, and let's see what adventures await us. first stop on our tour is called the Carpenter's House. This is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is the first scene that we encounter in The Walking Dead where Rick Grimes wakes up in the hospital. He has been in a coma, and now he's going to finally wake up and discover that the world has completely changed. It is now the apocalypse, and everything has gone to you know where. So this site is the hospital where it was filmed. So it's really like a mission, like a, I don't know, yeah, maybe like a vet homeless mission place. Um, stage of the hospital, and I'm gonna try to get out, but it's a little, um, a little sketchy here too. Okay, here it is. On this side, they have definitely done, I mean, it looks like the apocalypse, <laughs> for sure, with all the graffiti. Yes, here's Rick's Hospital where he breaks out. Full of zombies. We've even got some windows open there. Whoa. Whoa, super cool. This hill right here where he's running up, running up from the so hospital he walks in his, right little, in his gown. So he comes right through. Uh -huh, there's all the body bags down there. And he comes through here up the hill. There's, right for that. there's a helicopter at the top up here. And then up here, parking lot area so cool. we're looking for rick's house See, oh there it is wait no that's 70 no. sorry 817. you said 817 yes okay so we have a couple of we're in rick's neighborhood now rick didn't live in atlanta though right he was on the outskirts maybe i don't really a, remember i feel like he was in sort of a rural area yeah he was on like a tent yeah because like Lori was at the school waiting for Carl to get out. It was this little podunk school. Oh, 817! There's Rick's house. It's very well maintained. Doesn't look quite as like run down as in the actual show. <laughs> All right, we're good. So as we said, we were leaving uh, Rick's house, which is where he first showed up um, after the hospital. And of course, everybody's gone. Now we're in search of Morgan's house. That's the next person that he saw. It is close around this area where the Atlanta Zoo is. So if you're familiar to that area, that's where you want to head to find these neighborhoods. Morgan's neighborhood, which is right around the block from Rick's house. They live by each other. They were neighbors. No wonder they're good buddies, yeah. you know? <laughs> Makes sense though. It's one of the first. That's the first one he met in the apocalypse, basically. I'm a crazy person walking along trying to find Morgan's house because my husband does not believe me, <laughs> but I don't think that that's the house. So I'm looking around, and he just drove off and left me. So I'm going to hope that I don't get like murdered. <laughs> oh no! I think this is it. I think this is it, and I think my husband was wrong. This is it, Morgan's house right here. Yep, because here's the picket fence. He's got a little um, garage door in the back. How cute is that? Here it is from a distance, that's Morgan's house right there. And the people in the house are probably like, what is this fucker doing? <laughs> 
it's just coming generally into downtown Atlanta. It kind of has the same vibes as when Rick comes in on the horse as he is making his way into the city of Atlanta. And we also have the Grady Hospital that we're passing by. And this is where Beth was trapped for a time. I believe it was season four or five, somewhere around there. A lot of fight scenes here. And she was trapped by the round of police officers, one that was leading it named Dawn. Hey, we're on the last day of our trip. I'm not really that interested in visiting. We could go to like the Center for Disease Control where some of it was filmed too, if you remember when they were there at the CDC. I really just have no interest to go to CDC. So, I mean, um, we probably won't do that one, but we really wanted to do the quarry or I wanted to do the quarry, but apparently it's still kind of under renovation. I think they're turning it into some kind of park. So you can't really get to it, which is such a bummer because I really wanted to see it, but oh well another time maybe so we're gonna visit terminus we have the terminus site the site of the cannibals terminus is like the number one place i want to see i mean come on it's like infamous right terminus i want to take a picture i want to take a picture oh this is amazing <laughs> this is so funny we're gonna get eaten <laughs> so this is the obviously the back is there a way to go take a picture all right, so, um, hold on. Just the cable cars. Oh, but here we go. Woohoo! Terminus. Oh my God, this is so amazing. I climbed up on this little stone up here. I'm trying not to let my phone fall, but this is Terminus. Woohoo! Bring on the cannibals. Oh my God, amazing. Here we are. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. I have dreamed to come into Terminus. Maybe not coming to my end at Terminus, but. <laughs> so cool. I can hear the train. Can y'all hear the train in the background? So cool. Okay, so now we come to the town of Sonoy. So Sonoy is located a little bit south of Atlanta. It is a tiny, itty bitty little town. Other movies have been filmed here, such as Sweet Home Alabama. Kind of a prime, has those small town feel, you know, to it. So movies that want like a little small Hallmark town, this is a prime spot. So walking around, um, you, can, you might recognize it from those other movies. The little town itself, served especially in season three where you have the governor and you can see a lot of the downtown main street area here you know in the season three this was the governor's domain where everybody was inside the barriers in their so-called safe place and of course you have andrea who comes in and challenges the the norm here with the governor you also have where we were introduced to Michonne. This is where she enters and uh, does not uh, play well with the governor. So um, these are the scenes all downtown that we see in season three, located in Sonoy. Now, Sonoy also downtown has an actual Walking Dead museum. So you can go inside and on the main level, you're going to find a lot of touristy shops. So it's like a little gift shop where you find lots of Walking Dead paraphernalia, um, you know, lots of posters and just having a lot of fun. But then when you kind of go down more to the basement, this is the actual museum area where you're going to find a lot of the props that they used in the show. And so you have zombies, you have Daryl's motorcycle, you have a lot of, you know, signed um, flyers and whatnot. They tended to film all around this area around Sonoy every season. Um, and a lot of the scenes were in other nearby towns too, but most everything took place around the Southern Atlanta area or a little bit South of Atlanta, like within an hour. Um, lots of tiny little towns where some of these were filmed. And you also in the same nearby town of Sonoy, you have where the prison um, was. You can't go in there now and film it, but you can see it from a distance. It really was like a movie studio um, to make, make it look like a prison though. Um, served as 
the prison there, but you do have uh, one of the cells taken out of the prison scenes um, in down in the museum. And you can go inside these cells and play around and have fun like you're in The Walking Dead's prison. Now, outside, when you come back out of the museum, you can walk a little ways down the road and you will actually find the gates of Alexandria. So this was so exciting. This was just like the ultimate for my husband and I to get to see the gates of Alexandria. So, you know, this is in the later seasons, of course, where they come to their little gated community and it's kind of a self-sufficient run little community where, you know, the gang from The Walking Dead comes walking on in and eventually they end up running the place but these are the steel famous walls. And so it does border around a real community. This is an actual neighborhood where people live. They had gates at the front of this community where uh, you're not allowed to go back in there. And if you go too far, the security guards would all start fussing at you, which they did me because I wanted to go a little further and get my pictures. I am a blogger um, and I got in trouble. I just about had, uh, yeah, I was about to be hauled, off, hauled away by security. So you cannot get too close to this neighborhood because it is where actual residents live. Um, and now that it's been made kind of famous on the map, they don't get a lot of privacy there. So they do keep those walls up. Now, I think that some of the walls may have come down now that filming is over. Um, so I'm not sure how many of the walls are left, but for a long time, it was pretty much surrounded on all sides by these steel gates. You can't really get up into the neighborhood, but you could see some of the houses from a distance from outside the gates. You also will be able to view some of the like railroad tracks. You know, you've got so many scenes where you have railroad crossings and tunnels and a lot of these little areas right there where the railroad tracks are all were in scenes in The Walking Dead too. So I had to get, you know, those sites as well. Um, on the outskirts of town, you can visit a couple of houses um, in the outer neighborhoods that did serve as houses in The Walking Dead. There is the famous Puddin' House. So that's exciting where uh, Carl sits on the roof eating his pudding. Um, that's the house there. And so you can see it. You can get right in front of it. Um, I'm not sure who lives there now, but they probably have zero privacy. <laughs> So yes, you can get up close to some of these houses right up in person. You of course have to go into Daryl Dixon's restaurant. So I have on the shirt right now that I got from Nick and Norman's. Okay, so Nick and Norman's is a restaurant owned by Norman Reedus, of course, Daryl Dixon, as well as Nick, I can't pronounce his last name, but basically the producer and director of The Walking Dead. And so they own this restaurant together in downtown Sonoy, and you can go there and eat. And so we, of course, went as a family. I had salad, but what's neat is there are different times when Daryl frequents there all the time and he makes an appearance. And so you might spot The Walking Dead actors and characters often there. Um, anytime they have a debut of The Walking Dead show, they will have a big premiere night there and you can come eat and eat with all the actors. So pretty amazing, but it was a pretty cool experience to get to actually dine there um, in the very place that was owned by Daryl Dixon. And um, what really stunk was when we ate there, the very next night was when Daryl showed up after we left. So I was like, are you kidding me? All right, and so leaving Sonoy, then you head into the little town of Harrelson, Georgia, and this is a little further south west, I believe, of Sonoy. Tiny little podunk area, but as we were there, they were getting ready to film again another season, which, you know, now is over, of course, but while we were there, it was getting ready, so there was a lot of grassy places where they were letting it grow over and get good and old and yucky looking, and so we went you know, spotting out all these spots to see if they would be in the upcoming episodes. Driving there along the countryside. But at the mill itself, this is where in season three, you know, the death of Merle took place and Daryl finds him there, you know, or finds him as a zombie there. Um, and so, of course, you had the big 
fight with the governor in this very same mill. So lots of fighting scenes. So you can actually schedule an appointment to go through a tour there. Um, they have a whole big gift shop in this area. You can do the tour. You can see where a lot of these filming spots were done. You can see the very spot with the fingers in the power mill. Um, and you get to go to the barn where there was the shoot off between Rick and the governor. Um, and you get to act some of this out yourself, like my husband and I did. And I called it marriage goals. You know, we, we could do, but you know, it's good marriage therapy. So <laughs> some classic shots. And of course, I loved comparing them and finding in the shows where those scenes were from. So I'm inserting all those spots as well. You got to see all of the play by play. They did actually redesign some of the sets and they put in graphics to make it look a little different than how it looked in person but a lot of it was you know the same angles you have the spot where uh somebody was flicking a cigarette in front of the little septic tank and it's the same septic tank there so lots of really neat little scenes and of course you have the spot where daryl finds merle and he starts crying and you have you have a, a couple that run the place that were hosting this and they cosplay and one guy cosplay as Daryl. So of course he, you know, reenacting the reenacted the scene for us in the very same spot. And it's just super fun. So in addition to them cosplaying, you get the chance to cosplay yourself. So you get to come in whatever costumes you want, but you get to pick your weapon of choice. And of course, my husband had to pick Megan's bat. Lucille and I picked Michonne's sword and my son got a toy gun <laughs> like a water gun I think and we had to reenact it we got a family picture and this was our Christmas card for the year so really fun and last but not least that is so fun is they give you a zombie bite as part of special effects makeup so of course the kids had to get their own special zombie bite and they were infected oh my Anyway, overall, a really fun time. So if you're ever in the area, you definitely want to scope the place out and do a family tour for yourself. All right, guys. So that wraps it up today. I hope that was so much fun for you guys. So we didn't hit every single spot, of course, from Walking Dead. Um, still a few more we'd love to go back and do, but this was from three different visits to make sure we got all the prime spots in. So that gives you an idea of places to visit if you want to go see all these spots yourself and get the full Walking Dead trip of a lifetime you'll want to visit the Atlanta area in Georgia. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for now. Make sure you check out my other videos on Atlanta and some things to do there if you're interested in that area while you're there and other videos here on the channel as well. Make sure you pop that subscribe and stick around and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.